In this video, I'll discover the corners of the internet where you can find the best stock photos for free. Now, there's nothing worse than bad photography. Nothing. But we can't get on our high horse either about it because in the past, we felt victim to doing this too. We used to use the worst photography. And all evidence of it has been deleted. <laughs> so in this video, we are going to show you three free places that you can find amazing stock photography. One place you can find amazing free graphics. And another place on the internet right at the end that is going to blow you away. It's my happy place. <laughs> So make sure you keep watching to find out what all these free resources are. But before we carry on, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that big red subscribe button. Do it! Go. Okay. What? Okay. That's a weird okay. <laughs> it wasn't. It was like, if we really played that back, it was like, yeah. uh, nah. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Go. What? Okay. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> back to photography though. What do we mean when we say good stock? photography because we know that is quite subjective but what we basically mean is stop using photos like this weird plant holding person view after stacking it outside your building overly happy team photo multicultural team around laptop stupid people writing on windows blonde receptionist slash flight controller complete the f jigsaw already are you okay pete are you okay <sighs> Are you okay? There's nothing even on those jigsaws. Like, who the hell does a white, plain jigsaw? Okay, guys, while Pete composes himself, let us know in the comments where you get your stock photography. And here is some of our favorite places. Number one, gratisography.com. We were in love with this website for so many years. It has a ton of really kooky images that just really pop online. They're adding more and more and they even have a search feature now. It's not going to fit everyone's brand this one and some of them have got a little bit more overused the more well known this site has got including Mean Lady. But do check it out because they are completely free to use. Number two, Unsplash. Now if you're after beautiful images, unsplash.com is full of them. There's lots of incredible photos of people, places and landscapes. It's got a huge variety and an amazing search feature as well. I literally can't stress enough how good these photos are. And I would say like 99% of them are just not cheesy at all. So great photos here. We once went through a pineapple phase and it has the most amazing photos of pineapples, mm -hmm. if that's your thing. Again, completely free with the option to reference the photographer if you wish. Number three is Pixabay. Pixabay is great because it searches most of the free stock photography websites. However, that does mean it can sometimes take a little bit longer to find something that isn't too cheesy. But you do have a much larger search base to find the perfect photo. When you select an image, it will also tell you if attribution is required or not. So those three sources were wonderful for finding great sources of free stock photos. But what about graphics? If you want graphics, our favorite is VectEasy.com. Here you can download more graphic-based images or vectors if you are using something like Illustrator. Most of them are free, some require attribution, so just double check that. So there's four amazing options, but if you still can't find the perfect image and you do have a small, small budget, then you need to check out creativemarket.com. We spend way too much time on this website and it does a ton of different things. It's mainly for designers and creators, but it does have a photos area as well. You do have to pay for them, but it is nowhere near as expensive as some of the websites. <laughs> Shut <Shutter> stuck. <laughs> <laughs> and the quality is generally amazing. If you are in the B2B space, we know how hard it is to find photos that aren't cheesy as hell. So if you search for something like corporate or business people on creative market, you're gonna be able to find some outstanding photos that aren't cheesy and that aren't generic and that aren't used everywhere else for a small price. I think it's worth it. In fact, every time Pete sees one of those jigsaws, I make him look at Creative Market just to just to calm down. Don't worry, pal. There's nice places online too. 
There we go, that's five amazing places you can find great, non-cheesy, free stock photos and graphics. Let us know in the comments which one you're most excited about to use, or if you've got another one that we should check out. I've been Andrew, he's been P. Please subscribe and tell your friends, and as always guys, we will see you next time. Now there's nothing worse than bad stock photography. 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 Photography.